Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about a new Windows 11 update for version 23H2. For those of you who are still on 23H2 on the release preview channel and soon on the main release, you will receive this update with some new interesting features for 23H2 as I've said. Windows 11 24H2 will also get a new update most likely next week, which is going to be an interesting one. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there will be some highly requested features there that I also saw in some of my previous videos comments, so I think that will be pretty interesting. But today we're talking about the build 22631.4969 in this video as always we're going to talk about what is new what has changed and what is fixed in this latest build or update for 23h2 on the release preview channel if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all related to the taskbar for pinned apps or apps that have jump lists you will now have the option to share files directly from the jump list so as you can see i have here notepad pinned on the taskbar with some previous files that I've opened and saved with notepad and if I hover over a jump list item you're gonna notice that I also have the option to share this item I click on it of course share window will pop up I have the option to share to different emails to use nearby sharing share to my phone other apps and so on I think this is a pretty useful feature there are also certain updates related to Windows spotlight so if I were to go to personalize and then select the Windows spotlight theme from there Microsoft is adding a new quick and easy way to find out more information about a background image simply by hovering over the learn about this picture icon or just clicking on it and also as improvements this update makes windows spotlight easier to find you'll notice changes to the icon color and background also the icon will show at the lower right side of your desktop also if you are in the lock screen this update also makes it easier to learn more about the image on your lock screen when you click the like button so i'm going to click on i like it and of course more info should show up here and also the location. Related to narrator, there are new functions for the narrator scan mode, skip past links, the ability to jump to the start or the end of an item, and also jump to lists. More info about these new features you can find in the official Microsoft blog post. Also inside the settings app, Microsoft is continuing the rollout for the new Game Pass card in the settings homepage. With it, you can invite friends and family to try a PC Game Pass for free. And also, if you qualify, the card only appears when you sign into a PC using your Microsoft account. Next, related to the file explorer microsoft added an option to be able to snooze or turn off the start backup reminder in the file explorer address bar this only applies if you are not already backing up your files and folders to view this new option you can right click start backup there are also a few fixes related to the start menu fix an issue where when you enter a url in the address bar it might not go to the location the address bar overlaps files when you use the f11 full screen mode also fixed the context menu opens slowly when you right click cloud files also fixed and also thumbnails for cloud files display more consistently in search results. Related to the start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue where the colors were wrong when you opened the account manager cloud menu. This occurred when you used a mixed dark and light custom mode in settings, personalization, and colors. Also, Microsoft fixed an issue related to mouse pointers. If you go to settings, accessibility, then mouse pointer and touch, you can choose a color for the mouse that is not the default. When you choose a color, it reverts to white after the user account control dialog appears. That was an issue that was fixed. So these features that I've talked about our features that are slowly rolling out but in the article below you're going to have more info about how to enable all of these new features if you're interested on your machine and if you're still on 23h2 we also have some new features that are normally rolling out for example related to the file explorer microsoft is disabling account based content in file explorer under recent favorites details pane and recommended for intra ids in the european economic area also this update supports dst changes in paraguay also dwm.exe was fixed it stopped responding many times this update also brings code of profiles to date for certain mobile operators and also an issue related to open secure shell service failed to start which stopped ssh connections there was no detailed logging and you must have ran the sshd.exe process manually so basically these are all the new features changes and fixes inside the latest build in the release preview channel for 23h2 for those of you who are still on version 23h2 i think this would be a nice update as i've said for more information also the ids to enable with vive tool if you want to enable all these new features manually you can check out the article below and also for additional information the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Jimani from TechBase until next time have a nice day.